A lot of people seek aesthetic rhinoplasties to reduce the dorsal hump, that little irregular bump that interrupts a straight slope from the bridge of the nose to the tip. Even in the most experienced hands, correcting that bump during rhinoplasty can change the angle of the internal nasal valve and the patients can wind up with some impaired airflow as well as a physical deformity. Back in the 1980s, aesthetic rhinoplasty was associated with a 10% increased risk of airway obstruction, and it's probably even higher than that. But in our plastic surgery experience, the new advances in rhinoplasties and outcomes have improved. This first leap forward was called the spreader graft, and it was proven very powerful in select patients, but it also could widen the dorsum or make the nose wider in others. The next step was the resurgence of the spreader flap which does preserve the internal nasal valve, but also provides for a smooth dorsal aesthetic line on the top of the nose. Next, plastic surgery researchers improved upon the spreader flap by breaking it down into a stepwise procedure called the component dorsal hump reduction. Now in this new Plastic Surgery Hot Topic article, the authors describe yet another step forward in rhinoplasty. They call it the four-step spreader flap, the pull-twist-turn technique. Step one, you pull, you twist, and turn the spreader flap. Then there's the horizontal mattress sutures to bring them together. And then you break the nasal bones, the low to low osteotomy. And then finally, you buttress it all together and make sure it's smooth, and we call that the Texas stitch. Now this may all sound a bit technical, but the authors conclude that their four-step spreader flap technique is not only easy to perform, but is highly reproducible in shaping the dorsum while preserving the internal nasal valve. Form follows function. And the benefits of that to the surgeon and the patient are immense. Every patient's nose is different, and the spreader flap does have its limitations. There are still some situations in which spreader grafts may result in the best outcome. So if you want to get over the hump with a rhinoplasty, talk to a real board certified plastic surgeon who's an expert in rhinoplasty about the best procedure for you in your unique nose. Find one at plasticsurgery.org.